the trampoline. One day, Mr. Belter and Rocky were in the gym watching Ben on the trampoline. Ben was very good. He could jump high, much higher than Rocky. The trouble was that Ben could not stay on as long as he wanted to. Rocky wanted to go, so Ben had to get off. What Ben really wanted was a trampoline at home. Then he could use it any time and not have to get off to give somebody else a turn. Well, he could ask his dad. There was no harm in asking. Dad, said Ben. Ben's dad was reading the newspaper. He put it down and he looked at Ben. Yes, Ben? Dad, could I have a trampoline? A trampoline, said Dad. Why do you want a trampoline? Well, we've got one at school, but everyone has to have a turn and I don't get long enough when it's my go, explained Ben. Ben's dad thought for a while, then he smiled. Follow me, he said to Ben, and he led the way upstairs to the spare room. Ben wondered why they were going there. It was filled with all sorts of odds and ends, but as far as Ben knew, there was no trampoline in there. Ben opened the door and they went into a small room full of all sorts of things that Ben's mum and dad didn't use anymore. I really must get this room clean sometime, said dad. Well, never mind that now. I can see what I'm looking for. Dad moved an old table and a few boxes and began to pull an old bed towards the door. Here it is, he said to Ben. This old bed is the trampoline. Ben wasn't too sure about the old bed being much good as a trampoline, but he helped his dad to carry it downstairs. It was quite a struggle as the bed was heavy, but they managed to heave and push and soon the old bed was standing outside on the grass. Jump on that old bed, said Dad. It will make a very good trampoline. Dad went back inside to read his newspaper and left Ben staring at the old bed. Ben jumped up on the bed and tried a few small bounces. He was delighted. The old bed made a very good trampoline. Soon Ben was having a great time jumping higher and higher. The bed squeaked and groaned as Ben jumped higher and higher. Kevin heard all sorts of strange noises over the fence. What was going on? He went over and looked into Ben's garden. There was Ben jumping on the old bed. It looked like fun and Kevin decided he wanted to go. He jumped over the fence and went towards the old bed. Ben had seen Kevin and had stopped jumping. I want to go, said Kevin. No, said Ben. I want to play by myself and anyway, you're much too heavy. Ben was just about to start jumping again, but Kevin ran across to him and climbed onto the bed. He gave Ben a push. Ben fell off the bed and landed on the grass with a bump. Ben scrambled up to see Kevin bouncing on the bed. The noise was terrible as the old bed creaked and groaned and squeaked. Kevin wasn't very good on the trampoline and he was wobbling all over the place. Look out, said Ben, as Kevin landed very close to the edge. You'll fall off. You'll get hurt, Ben cried. But Kevin didn't take any notice. He just told Ben to go away as he jumped higher and higher. Ben was getting very cross. He tried to grab Kevin's arm to pull him off the bed. It's my trampoline, he said, but Kevin wouldn't get off. Ben pulled his arm again and Kevin wobbled even more. In fact, Kevin wobbled so much that he lost his balance and missed the bed altogether. Ben jumped out of the way as Kevin landed on the grass with a bump. 
Ben thought that Kevin looked very funny sitting on the grass, scowling up at him. Are you hurt? Ben asked, trying not to smile. Kevin certainly did not think it was funny and he snapped crossly at Ben. No, but I've had enough of you and your stupid trampoline, which pleased Ben very much.